these are off white and they're off white what's up fam in this video you're gonna learn how to style off white but on the real the brand has really set a new approach to streetwear and hella people are on it so you know there's still hella hype behind it anyways i'm breaking this down into three things and they're gonna be what how and where as in what the brand is how to wear it and where to cop fam new series bitch but even though this is some new stuff i'm still gonna start with what i said first and that is what so now you can ask yourself what the fuck is off white is the color all right guys thanks for watching the video it's very industrial raw and street like dead ass construction inspo i mean this belt is just straight a construction harness with off-white branding but it retails for 200 dollars still gonna buy it though the brand has very raw and oversized cuts to give that vintage and almost handmade feel the colors are various but the tone is usually a bit muted like you'll get greens but it's usually an olive or a dark green but for 400 dollars, this paint better be hand drawn by a kardashian or something the designs are very simple but they find a way to seem abstract a good example is the famous black and white stripes like it's just dead ass streaks of paint but it finds its way into the hearts of all the hype beasts out there for the most part, it's an interesting and unique take on street slash high fashion and is a solid representation of where streetwear is today. Now that you're sold on the concept of painting road signs on your t-shirts, you may ask, Yo, how do I wear this though? Considering the flashiness of the brand, I wouldn't try to mix other designs along with it. Keep the off-white piece as the staple and work the outfit around it. Kind of like when you have like a solid eight or higher girlfriend. You're trying to make them feel special and not have any other girls in your life because you know... We respect women out here. Try building around it. For bottoms, I suggest distressed jeans to go well with the whole industrial rundown vibe that Off-White gives out. Remember that if you can't afford distressing, all you gotta do is go outside and fall down. There are Off-White jeans, but like, please just don't wear those with an Off-White top. Looking like a barcode for real. Like if I'm coming at you with a scanner and I hear beep, if you like zipper pants, then it works perfectly as the drawstrings and zippers go well with the aesthetic. For shoes, you can really go either way. From Chelsea boots to runners, they can all go well depending on the formality of your fit. Personally, when wearing off-white, I tend to stick with runners for the most part. I feel the brand is very street, so to match that vision, I tend to wear casual runners and nothing too formal like Chelsea boots. But, just try not to wear Yeezys with off-white. Like, come on, don't be that guy. Fuck that guy. Stupid hype beast. By the way, follow my Instagram at ChristianVY for some bullshit. <laughs> Comment spooky season on my latest post because it's October and shit's getting scary, man. I don't know. I promise, though, I'm not a hype beast. I'm also lying. For the most part, you can just rock some off-white gear pretty casual, but still flex hard. Lastly, we got wear, as in where to cop, man. You can find off-white in a lot of online and in-person stores nowadays. Some good ones are like end clothing, hype beast, and essence. Of course, it's pretty expensive, but shit, the clap points per cop are pretty solid. Sometimes you just gotta pay a pretty penny to look like Marty from Madagascar, man. If you're looking for some deals, I always vouch for grail.com. You can find hella hype shit on there for a steal. Like, you know, you can just lowball the dude and hope he's desperate. I do it all the time, and sometimes it pisses them off and they block me, but hey, gotta break a couple eggs to make a hype ass omelet, boy. For some in person spots, you can try it on, take a flick, and not buy it. You can go to Saks Fifth, Bloomingdale's, and even some consignment shops in your area. For the most part, Off White is pretty accessible if you have the wallet and desire for it, but if you have a budget, you can always go to Grailed. Alright, so to wrap this up with the Off White belt, it's not just a fucking color, okay? It's a high fashion streetwear brand. Okay, so now that you know that Off-White is more than just a color, hopefully now you know how to style it. New type of series, so if there's any brand breakdown that you want to know how to meme out, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to reply to all of them because I have Wi-Fi on the plane, boy. I'm gonna be in New York on the 7th for about two months, so hit me up if you're dead ass. I'm trying to be on it, B. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT. Email me at FrugalAesthetic at gmail.com for anything. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay lit, respect women, and most most importantly,